This video is intended as an introduction into three-phase motor winding failures. You may be responsible for sending out repairs of electric motors for your facility and you could get information back such as it's got a shorted turn or it's overloaded or it's single phased. Now this is intended to put some pictures to those failures to help you understand or show you what goes on. This has been put together by ESA, the Worldwide Trade Association for Electric Motor Repairers, and it's available on their website, and I'll put a link to it later. But I'll just jump straight in with uh, what's on here. Let's say, for example, that you told your motor it's been single-phased. Well, single-phasing means it's lost a phase. This motor here, for, uh, say, Y-connected or star-connected for the UK and European markets, if we just take a look at a star connection, let's say we lose a phase. What's happening then? The motor is only trying to turn on two phases. Those two phases eventually burn out. So this is how it looks. We've got bright phase here, where's the one where it's not connected, and burnt out phases there. So two thirds of the windings have burnt out, and that's single phase on a star connection. You may know another connection is the delta connection. Well, it looks similar, but there's an important difference here. Two thirds of the windings are bright, and one third's burnt out. Looking at a delta connection there, say we lose a phase, sorry, yeah, lose one phase, in effect, only one phase is trying to turn the motor. So that is why we've got blackened coils there, because that phase is burnt out. That covers single phasing. Another very common one is a phase to phase short. All electric motors should have phase barriers between the phases in the windings, shown as these blue paper here. This one, there has been a short between two of the phases. Usually winding, sorry, usually insulation degradation, it could be debris in there, contamination or vibration that causes it to. Here, a shorted turn to turn. Now this is a short on the same phase, but two of the turns have shorted together and it's blown the windings at that point. One that's uh, quite obvious when you do see it, on here we've got one coil burnt out and that's a shorted coil means the whole windings are blown, but one coil here has burnt out. One that we see very, very typically is winding ground at the edge of the slot. We see here a dirty, great big black mark, and that's where the phase conductors have shorted to earth. Probably see it a little better here, but that's typically an insulation failure again on the edge of the slot, and it's, uh, it's quite prominent when you do see the stripping motors down. Another one, winding ground in the slot. Can be caused again by insulation, degradation, vibration and uh, contamination. They could also have a uh, conductor that's sitting proud. And if you ever have bearing failures and the rotor's dropped on the core, this is, tends to be the eventual failure, but you see a lot more catastrophic uh, failure with drag and burr marks on the stator core itself. Here's where we have a shorter connection. On the motor we have two ends. It's the connection end where all the coil groups are connected together and one of those connections is shorted so it's a, a burn mark near one of the connectors here. Now this is one I must admit I've never seen phase damage due to unbalanced voltage. Whether it comes across on the camera well enough what we can see is a bright coil here then duller and then one black. What that will mean is a phase where it's got reduced voltage across then that coil or that phase is working harder it's been overloaded but I must admit I've, I've never seen that other than on photographs. Very, very popular one, winding damage due to overload. The windings are overloaded electrically. They've burnt out, they're all heated up, and uh, insulation will fail on this point. There's a wonderful smell to this, which everyone in the electromotor trade knows. You don't even need to open a motor up to know that they've burnt out. There's a typical smell to that. And you might smell that when you send a motor up thinking, oh, that's been hot. Another interesting one here, actually, with damage caused by lock rotor. This is where a stall condition where the rotor is not turning. The windings then overheat, they're trying to do too much work, the heat's generated in the rotor itself and actually the aluminium starts to melt. It's quite an impressive one to see that. And then winding damage by voltage surge. It does happen quite often but this usually shows itself at the connection side where you can see the windings have burst here, so almost like ruptured here and it's on the connection side. So that's an introduction into what is seen in electric motors when we're assessing why windings have burnt. This is on the ESA website, as I said, and I'll drop a link to that shortly. But I hope that's been of interest. I'm Matt Fletcher. My business is Fletcher Moreland, and thank you for watching.